Hi, I'm attorney Ben Schwartz, and today we have my associate, Rob Collins. Rob Collins is also an attorney with the law firm of Schwartz & Schwartz. Rob's going to help us out today by answering a viewer question. The question is, if I was injured in a car accident or other personal injury uh, accident, and I'm pursuing a lawsuit or a legal claim for my injuries, for compensation for my injuries, does it make a difference, does it matter if I have old criminal convictions on my criminal record? And Rob, why don't you share your thoughts about that with us? Sure. Uh, when we do our intakes, that's one of the questions that we ask our clients when I first meet with them. Uh, do you have any criminal convictions? And if so, what were they for? When were they? And a lot of times clients don't understand why I'm asking that. The real reason is you have to start from the viewpoint that if this case goes to a jury, what is the jury going to hear? And work your way, the entire case is based on that premise and work backwards. And if you have criminal convictions, then the insurance company is going to want to know that and see if they can use that against you to try to make you look bad to a jury. Um, some convictions are more important than others. Some convictions can get in front of the jury, some can't. The general rule is if it's a felony or if it's a crime with an element of dishonesty like theft, fraud, uh, something like that where the only way you can be convicted is if you were dishonest in some way, that's the type of uh, conviction that a uh, jury is likely to hear. And the reason it will be put in front of the jury is because the defense attorney wants to convince them that you should not be trusted. Um, they want to convince the jury that you're lying in some way now, and the way you can uh, tell that the, the plaintiff is lying is because, look, they have a history of lying, and they've been proven to be liars in the past. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean that all convictions come in. You know, a conviction for child abuse is not going to show that you're a liar or a felon, um, whereas a conviction for insurance fraud definitely is going to come in because you're likely making a claim against an insurance company. Um, so, so if I have, let's say that I've been injured in an accident and, you know, I retain you as my attorney, we're going forward with the litigation process, and maybe we're going to go to trial. If I have a conviction for shoplifting, that's something I should expect the jury to hear. If I have a conviction for, you know, misdemeanor drug possession, is that something that is likely for the jury to hear? Well, the shoplifting, they probably would hear because, uh, you know, shoplifting is taking something that does not belong to you. That's, uh, there's an element of dishonesty involved in that. Um, the drug possession, there's really no dishonest element there. It's nothing in that conviction that is uh, <coughs> going to make your, your evidence, your testimony, more or less likely to be true. Um, well, what's your thought if if someone's watching this video, they've been injured in an accident, and they're thinking about whether or not they should go to an attorney and make a claim? Do you think that having a prior conviction in a criminal case, do you think that that should stop them from learning about their legal rights, meeting with an attorney, or pursuing a claim? Absolutely not. Um, especially if you're up front with your attorney at, from the get-go so that they know... Uh, that you have this history. Um, the last thing you want to do is hide this from your attorney because then maybe a year, two years down the road, your attorneys invest a lot of time and effort in this case. They think they have a case value for it, they have a strategy for it, and then the defense attorney is going to blindside them with this information. It's really going to put your attorney at a disadvantage. If they know about it up front, they can uh, include that in the strategy from the beginning. Have you ever had a car accident case or slip and fall case, dog bite, any personal injury case where your client's criminal conviction prevented them from being able to recover compensation for their injuries? No. No. Me, no. Neither have I. <laughs> I um, can't imagine that happening. I mean, the worst case scenario in general would be maybe there's a discount on the case value. Um, but it's you're still going to be able to make a recovery. There you go. So if you're watching the video and you're wondering about whether you can still pursue a personal injury case, 
even though in the past you had a criminal conviction, uh, you know, it sounds like you probably ought to go to an attorney, you ought to find out about your legal rights, and chances are your past criminal conviction is not going to prevent you from being able to recover compensation. Again, I'm attorney Ben Schwartz. This is attorney Rob Collins. We're both with the law firm of Schwartz & Schwartz, handling personal injury claims, car accident claims, dog bite claims, slip and fall claims, uh, personal injury cases in the states of Delaware. I'm in Delaware. Rob's in Delaware. I'm also in Maryland, and we have other attorneys in the firm handling New Jersey and Pennsylvania cases, too. If you'd like to get a hold of us, you can email me. I'm ben.schwartz at schwartzandschwartz.com. You can also go on our Facebook page and send us a message there, or you can leave us a comment there on this video or on one of the other video or blog posts. And we're at facebook.com slash schwartzandschwartz. Thanks for watching.